Good morning and welcome to the show. Uh, this is our final Monday with Dr. Roman Nation. And oh, we got Scarlett instead today. Yeah. But thanks for coming in. Thanks. Thank Good to you. see you again. You're here for the summer? Yes. I'm here for the summer. And you're having fun? Are you keeping up with your studies over the summer? Yes. I am I have this binder that has like um, it has a bunch of pages for summer work. It has a reading mm -hmm. log and math sheets. So I do that like every once in a while. Now, now you're a kid. Yes. Obviously, although you're you're you seem a little a little smarter than your average kid. How old are you now? Eleven. You're eleven years old. Mm -hmm. Fourth of July is coming up. Yes. What advice would you give other kids on how to stay safe on the Fourth of July? Well, when you um, when you light off fireworks, <laughs> when you light off fireworks, you should always um, have adult supervision unless mm -hmm. you're like over sixteen or whatever. Um, and you should never like when you're lighting it, you should never like hold it on the bottom or yeah. whatever because you have a chance of blowing your finger off. Yeah, and, and so. yeah, and it's always better to have an adult blow yes. their finger off than have you <laughs> blow your finger <laughs> yes. off, right? <laughs> and it's all even better to go to a professional fireworks display yes. and just enjoy the show. Uh huh. Although and, uh, it is kind of cool blowing stuff up. Yes. <laughs> I've been known to do that on the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, there are some places um, that actually have like, uh, it's kind of like Disney World where it has, they have like a, a 20 minute show of all the fireworks and mm -hmm. it's like either on the beach or uh, on the lake or what, or Yeah, oh, there's, like, there's all over town, yeah. all over the county, there's things like that going on. Now you're working at Nation's Best Family Healthcare yes. in Lynn Haven and Panama City Beach. Yes. And you're helping dad out around the office, yes. right? Um, what were the types of things that uh, Dad's got you doing now? Um, well, it sounds like a really cool summer job, by the way. Well, um, I uh, at the first week, I um, I made a sample list mm -hmm. um, of all of our samples and the drug reps and what they're good for and all that stuff. And um, um, what I've been doing is I've been helping out with um, the nurses. And so sometimes I can go in and then help a patient with their like um, blood pressure and uh, oh, heart so rates and stuff. You're actually like that. learning stuff as yes, you're I working. Am. Do you think someday you'll be a doctor like your dad? Yes, some sort of medical person, either uh -huh. a veterinarian or um, a doc or a doctor. Um, I was talking about this earlier. It was. Um, I'm going to take over the nation's best and either make it nation's best family health care or nation's best family health care and pets. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Nation, what Big do you think dream. about that idea? So, I, I, I think she's, yeah. uh, she's going to blaze her own trail wherever she, wherever she goes. So, uh, she's always been on top of things and that's what she, she adapts really well to the office. The, the nurses and admin staff love her doing the stuff that she does. So she brings a whole lot of life to the place. Yeah, so. and you know, I hope you get over your shyness. Yes. No, because <laughs> you're certainly not shy, and that's good, by the yes. way. I'm trying not to be shy. No, you shouldn't be shy. You should be confident, and you know, as long as you can sit across from someone, look them in the eye, and tell them what you think. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> you're gonna do great, no matter what field you go into. Yes. We've got to run off to the local weather here, but on the other side of that, maybe we'll talk with Dad about maybe some things that we can do to stay safe over the summer. Yes, sir. And we'll be right back after your local weather. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Dr. Roman Nation and Scarlett from Nation's Best Family Healthcare up in Lynn Haven and Panama City Beach. Yes, sir. Yes. And during the break, we were talking about summer safety. Yep. People are on the move. People are, you we're, know, going on vacation. We're getting ready to be on the move as well. That's uh, for next week. All right. We're going to take a little family trip. It's our uh, vacation for the summer. Yes. But, oh. uh, um, what do you got planned? We are pay taking a long drive up to uh, Pennsylvania. Hershey. Yeah. All right. Yep. We've been, we've been, t we've had that, we've talked about that for what, three years now? Yeah, mm -hmm. three years. First three years we, we were going to go to Hershey Park. Park. Yeah. Yep. We so were gonna uh, go we're, we're finally going to make that trip this year. And then come back. Mm-hmm. And go to Pennsylvania. So uh, then we're going to stop in uh, Savannah, Georgia on the way back for. Uh, Again? Just to visit. No, we're going on the way back, not on the way oh. up. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Savannah's on the way back, kiddo. But okay. y you're not, y you're <coughs> typical of most families during the summertime. You summer know, you take vacations, mm -hmm. and even when you're home, you have staycations. You'll take a weekend, maybe you'll do some diving, because I know you guys dive. Yes. Yep. You know, maybe you do a little boating, fishing, or whatever. 
easy to get hurt when you're doing that stuff. It, it, it is most, uh, uh, you know, when you're taking car trips and things, accidents um, are most common if you're uh, sleep deprived. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're not getting good sleep or you're not sleeping in a, uh, in a decent place, then you're going to be more tired the next day. Um, That's what Red so. Bull is for. It's no, Red Bull does not work for that. <laughs> yeah, what about power drinks? Uh, you know, uh. <laughs> they'll well, the the trouble you have with with coffee, caffeine, and all those other types of energy type drinks. Most of them are loaded with a whole ton of sugar. Mm -hmm. um, five Hour Energy is one of the few that has um, the B vitamins, which is what gives you the energy for the most part. Um, in them, and they've got a, a small amount of caffeine, um, but not as much as you get in a cup of coffee. Um, but the other ones like Monster and, and Red Bull and those kinds of things, they're, they're usually loaded with a whole ton of calories. So what you get with that is you'll get the sugar rush for the first 30 minutes um, to maybe an hour at the most. And then if your system is working like it's supposed to, um, insulin levels will rise and they'll catch up and then you'll have you'll bottom out about two hours later. Oh, geez. And, sen and then it takes you about an hour to kind of recover. So, so it's just a temporary kind of thing. It's a fix. very, very temporary thing. And, and it's that's nothing why that's going to keep you going all night. It'll keep you going for an hour or two maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where you mm -hmm. see folks, you know, they talk about Red Bull marathons, you know, because they're actually downing a, a whole new one every two hours. Oh, my to go goodness. That, which, you know, just wreaks havoc on your poor little system because then your kidneys are trying to keep up with, with everything. Oh, that just sounds awful. Yeah, it's, it's so driving yeah. though, I, you know, I mean, driving tired is as bad as driving drunk. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, so, yeah there's um, there's been lots of studies about sleep deprivation mm -hmm. um, and being equivalent to as far as reaction times go uh, to being um, intoxicated. So um, and coffee doesn't you know doesn't uh, necessarily change those types of things. And when you do drink coffee, it only sticks in your system for maximum about four hours. Yeah. So wow. or um. Another thing to give you energy is uh, if you exercise. Exercise will help. Because when you exercise, you're actually not losing energy. You're actually regaining energy. So you're, you're raising your metabolism yes. is, is, the, is and, the way I would phrase that. And um, so that's the no sugar, no calorie energy. Picture. So there you go. Fit. I mean, just Staying having a fit helps, but yeah, if you're if you're going on trips, um, stopping every couple of hours to to get out and stretch and you know mm -hmm. basically invigorate your system so that you get your blood flowing again. Yeah, you get that mm -hmm. highway hypnosis after a while. Correct. We just burp, 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 yeah. Yep, and that's what we people. just did late recently. <laughs> well, I, I hope you guys have a great summer together. I hope yes, you have a, a wonderful summer. It's been a real privilege getting to know you guys, and yes, thank sir. you so much for being an early supporter of the show. And uh, it, it's sad I won't be seeing you on Mondays anymore. Oh, yeah. I hope you feel better. Uh, yeah, I'm so sick, it's not funny. But I'm gonna <laughs> go see your dad after this and he'll fix me right up, I hope. Okay. All right. We're good. All right, guys, thanks so much. Bye. Thank you. And, we'll, uh, and remember, our nation's best family health care up in Lynn Haven and Panama City Beach. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Dr. Aaron Shores from Spine and Neuropain Specialist here in Panama City and up in Shipley. Welcome to the show, Dr. Shores. Thank you. And welcome back to the show. And this is your last time with us. It is. Because, uh, you know, we're signing off here uh, soon, so. Uh, well, thank you for yeah. having me. Oh, I thanks. appreciate it. Thanks for coming on the show. You've added quite a bit of interesting content to this show. And you've always come up with some really cool stuff that the layman would never know even existed, like this little doohickey here. What? What is this thing called? This is called an intrathecal pump. Um, intrathecal pump. Intrathecal pump, which mm -hmm. is basically an implanted pump device that we can put in the stomach. Mm -hmm. And we use this device, uh, we can put pain medicine in here or we can put uh, muscle relaxers in there. Mm -hmm. um, and we can use it to treat either chronic uh, painful conditions or sometimes severe muscle spasms, which can occur in uh, spinal cord oh, injury yeah. patients or multiple sclerosis and other, other types of conditions. Wow, this is such an interesting thing. Synchromed, hey? Okay. So h how would this uh, work? I mean, is it, I guess it's programmable, so it gives you a dose mm -hmm. when you need it. Yep. I so suppose. It, uh, it's programmable. We have a, a wire. And this actually holds medication this inside does. of it. That's life size. That's mm -hmm. the actual one. So it's okay. It um, would fit in my role. I got plan with room, <laughs> with room to spare. It would fit in my stomach. Anyway. Yeah. No, it, uh, it's a nice device because we usually put it in the stomach, and then there's a little catheter that tunnels from this port here mm -hmm. around the, to, the, to the spinal cord. Oh, cool. And uh, it can slowly infuse either pain medication into the patient's uh, back or spine. Mm -hmm. um, to help either help control their pain or help their muscles relax, depending on what we put in the pump. 
Wow. And now, how do you refill it? At some point, it's going to run out of Correct. medication. So how do you, do you have to pull it out again to refill it? Or? No, not at all. And the, and the real pump, this little dot right here in the middle, that there's a rubber stopper there in, mm -hmm. the, in the actual pump. And what we do is we use a, a special guide and an ultrasound to stick a small needle through the skin into that access port. And we have to do that on average about every three to six months, depending on And you fill it back up with the meds. We fill it back up, we reprogram it, and mm -hmm. then the patients are good to go for, you know, several months. Now, you can't have this thing in you the, your whole life. I, I guess at some point, what's the, what's the serviceable life of something like this? This particular pump, the battery, there is a battery in here that does require replacement. And uh, with this current pump, the, the latest one in the average uh, half-life of the, of the battery is about five to seven years, depending on uh, the battery, but it uh, so about every five to seven years you'll have to have it uh, the battery mm -hmm. replaced or the pump replaced. Uh, but when it works, it works really well. Um, and sometimes the folks who get this device are folks that have had uh, medications for many years or a long time with either significant side effects and or lack of of effect. And uh, in certain patients, this can be a, a great a great device and simplify their life. So, so the advantage to this over say oral meds mm -hmm. is you know taking them on schedule without fail. <clears throat> right. The advan one of the big advantages here is that you don't have to swallow medications anymore unless, mm -hmm. you know, something else goes on with you. Uh, number two is you tend to have a whole lot less medication in the body. Sometimes, you know, ten several factors uh, less medicine. It del delivers it directly to the pain source too. Right. It so kind of cuts out the, the middle end. So right. To speak, you know, so example. And all that. Ex exactly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. sometimes patients might be taking roughly 40 or 50 milligrams of Lortab a day. Um, I might be able to control their pain with this device with 0 0.1 milligrams of, That's quite of a medicine. Difference. So they get less side effect, better result. And they don't have to come see us as often because sometimes patients on on uh, oral medications have to see their doctor every every month or so to get prescriptions, which is an inconvenience and an expense. Once this device is in, oftentimes it works better, and and they don't have patients don't have to come back as often. So less meds, less hassle, and you know you, you'll be healthier and happier, I suppose, in the final equation. We, we hope so. And this yeah. thing is called what again? This is called an intrathecal pump or a, a, a pain pump. It's commonly referred a pain to. Pain pump. Dr. Aaron Shores, thank you so much for being part of the uh, Don Show here and bringing all this cool stuff and your great wealth of knowledge to the show. Thank you for having me. And, and good it. luck out there at Spina Neuro Pain Specialists here in Panama City and up in Chipley. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with my new best friend, <laughs> Stefan Longo, who is a life coach. And Stefan, welcome back to our very last Monday of the Don Show. Don, thank you so much for having me. and. Uh, I wish you good luck in, in your endeavors, and I hope that you're going to be successful beyond your imagination. Well, I'm hoping so, my friend, and, th and thank you for being part of the show. You know, as I turn the next page and the next chapter of my yeah. life, I can check something off the old bucket list now. There you go. And there I can say, go. well, you know, I had a TV show. How many people can say that, huh? Yeah. Not many. I'm having a lot of no. fun with it. Yeah. And that's, that's what's important. You're having fun. Yeah. You're doing what you love. You got to enjoy your life. Otherwise, oh. what's the point? There's no point in, yeah. in it, none whatsoever. And it's on to the next adventure. So what, what little life tip do you have for us this week? Well, my life tip is love yourself. Okay. And the way that I do it, and uh, I get a lot of looks from my wife when I do it, because I'm kind of a, um, I'm not an introvert. I am definitely not an introvert. Mm -hmm. I like to get things out. And I, I sing myself a song. Really? Yes. So is, this a, is this a little um, morale song or a bedtime song well, or uh, a morning song? It, it kind of <coughs> puts everything together that I'm trying to do as a life coach. And it kind of spreads the word. And so, you know, i got to practice what I preach. Yes, you do. I can't be a hypocrite. So this is my way every day of reaffirming or reaffirming what I want out of life. Okay. Okay. And it goes like this. Why do I love myself? 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 Because I'm awesome. <laughs> You know, I'm going to drive Karen crazy with that song. Great. Now. I'll be singing that around the house. Fantastic. <laughs> Get her to sing it. Sing it together. Oh, 
<laughs> I am so going to sing that song. You have no idea. <laughs> Not that it will make me feel any better. And, but and it, notice I say, <laughs> why do I love myself? Yeah. Instead of, I love myself because sometimes we don't love ourselves. Because that really sounds kind of self-absorbed. I mean, like, oh, I love me, I love me. But, but yeah. why do I love why me? Why do I love myself? <clears throat> why do you love yourself? Because of all the different things you do. Mm -hmm. Because of all the different people you are to, to all the different people in your, in your, uh, in your existence. Local events, great tips and reviews. There you go. <laughs> Just like the song says. <laughs> yeah. And, and so we have to reaffirm that to ourselves because you know, who's responsible for our happiness? That's right. We no are. one's going to make you happy. That's you have to right. bring that to the table. That's right. And maybe you can share your happiness a little with people. Of and, course And you it's can. infectious. It can be catchy. There, there you go. If you're a happy person. Just but. like your book, book of Awesomeness. You write down those That's things right. in your book of Awesomeness. And I, I encourage everybody to get a book of awesomeness because this is something you can use for the rest of your life. And when you're feeling down, crack open that book and look at all the things you are really good at and really mean a lot to you because that's the important thing. If you can't love yourself, you can't love others, can you? That is exactly true. Stefan Longo, it has been a pleasure getting to know you and I hope we can stay in touch. I'm, I'm looking forward to that, Don, and again, all the best of luck and Godspeed. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Randy Akins, our official trainer for the Waking Up with Don show from 5L Fitness out of Tindall Air Force Base and at Impact Fitness out yes, there sir. in Callaway. Randy. Thanks so much for coming back good on the show. Good to see you, man. I mean, we're, good to be seen. We're, we're here at the kitchen table having a hot cup of Don, or Joe, as it were. <laughs> and, you know, coffee, yeah. we've, talked about, <laughs> we've talked about breakfast. You, right. you make believe coffee tastes good, I know. It's good, yeah. Um, we've talked about breakfast a lot, mm -hmm. you know, and nutrition on the show. What about dinner? I hear two ways about dinner. Some people say, well, you're going to be starving all night till breakfast. You should eat a pretty good-sized dinner. Then I hear other people say, well, you should really have a moderate dinner so you can sleep better. I mean, you create fat cells in your sleep, I suppose, if you eat too you, much. You can create fat cells at any point throughout the day. It depends mm -hmm. on what you eat at that point in time. So it's not about necessarily having a modest dinner. You really want to keep your blood sugar under control that late at night. So mm -hmm. a lot of people think that you, sh you shouldn't eat, you know, this type of food or that type of food. There's a little bit of truth in that, but primarily you don't want to eat foods that are really going to spike your blood sugar that late because when your body secretes too much insulin, then you in turn store more body fat. Mm. So, and also approach. sugar will keep you up too. Sugar right? will, can mm -hmm. keep you yeah. up too. It doesn't keep me up. At the end mm -hmm. of the day, whatever I eat puts me to sleep. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh -huh. But I work a lot, so I mean that's that's understandable. But if you can focus on proteins and vegetables and slow digesting carbohydrates, then that will keep your body from being too uh, resistant to, to your insulin what and blood sugar. What time should you eat? I mean, is dinner hour always six o'clock or does it vary? There, there's no certain time. I and mean, you'll hear mm -hmm. people say, you know, don't eat past six o'clock or you're gonna get fat or don't eat past this time or that time. It depends on your yeah. schedule. Yeah. Right. And, and you know what? I've also heard don't eat too close to bedtime. I mean, if you have GERD or something like that, we have some sort of reflux problem. Definitely that. Probably shouldn't eat a giant meal yeah. and go right to bed. You, you would definitely want to time that mm -hmm. out, you know, at least hour and a half, two hours before you were actually going to mm -hmm. go to sleep if you had to eat that late. But uh, I'd say if you can get like three hours before you go to bed, mm -hmm. if, if you absolutely had to eat that late, then that's perfectly fine. And just a balanced meal, nothing in particular. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say some type of protein source, some type of vegetable source, and some type of slow digestion carbohydrate. Now, I've also heard times a day, uh, you know, we've all been raised a breakfast, lunch, dinner, three meals a day. Right. How often do you eat? I eat about five or six times a day, depending on the okay. day. Okay. Mm -hmm. so and I, it's a breakfast, a snack, lunch, a snack, and then protein shake, and then I eat dinner. Yeah, you got to feed the engine throughout you gotta the day. You got to feed the machine. You got to need it. that, you need that fuel to keep your day going. Absolutely right. Because otherwise we have these spikes. In sugar and other things. And that's you know? what causes you to store more body fat. That's what causes you to crash and burn. It's typically spikes in your blood sugar that, that make that happen. Yeah, and I'm, I'm famous for that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's easy I mean, I amp up yeah. on coffee in the morning, and maybe I'll have a little tiny snack, you know, before I leave the house. Right. Never a, a real breakfast. And, and then you don't have enough sustained energy. You get the quick energy from the coffee, but yeah. beyond that, you're out of gas. Yeah, and by the time you get to lunch, you're like ravenous. And then you eat it, and it's like... And then, oh, yeah. And then you go into a... A carb coma. That's it. After. A noodle nap is what I call it. Yeah. <laughs> a noodle nap? Noodle nap, yeah. Eat too much pasta, you go to sleep. Uh, that's the story of my life. <laughs> Randy Akins from 5L Fitness. Thanks for coming on the show and getting us smart about breakfast and, and no nutrition. Problem. And yeah. uh, we'll talk to you again next week. Yes, sir.
and we'll see you guys next time. Have a great week.